Hey friends, my name is C, and you're watching here, Mr. Easy. I'm going to do a new video for IGCC and Imagine today. We have the rules and examples for the integration or the integral of extra functions, namely exponential and reciprocal. And we'll start off with some basics, but before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we'll start off with some basics for the exponential, for the integration of exponential functions. So here on the left, we have uh, the differential or like the derivative of, S of uh, exponential functions. So the derivative of e to the power of x will be the same, e to the power of x. And that applies the same to the integral of e to the power of x, it will just be e to the power of x, the same. And for the second one, we have minus e to the power of minus x. The derivative of that will be e to the power of minus x because the derivative of the power will be minus 1. And minus 1 times by the coefficient will get 1, so it will just be e to the power of minus x. Therefore, the same is the, true, the same is for the uh, integral. e to the power of minus x, you integrate it, you get minus e to the power of minus x plus c. And don't forget the plus c. So we have two general forms here. So when we have 1 over a, e to the power of a is plus b, it will be e to the, e to the power of a is plus b after differentiating it. Therefore, if we work backwards, the integral of e to the power of a x plus b to the power, with respect to x will be equal to 1 over a e to the power of a x plus b plus c. So this is just a simplified form of with using like functions notation. And then we have some basis for the reciprocal functions or 1 over x. So we know that the, the derivative of ln x or the natural log x will be equal to 1 over x. Therefore, the same is for the integration of 1 over x, it will be ln x. And one thing to note is that you can either choose to just write brackets or these two um, straight lines, which just means modulus. Because remember that any log, like logarithms, no value of like x in this case can be negative. So a modulus sign is there just to let you know that none of the numbers can be negative. So here's a more general form down below. The integral of k over ax plus b dx will be equal to k over a, which is basically just the top number k, and it will mostly be 1, or depending on the situation, k over a, which where a is the derivative of the bottom on the denominator. And then ln the and then ln with the bracket being the denominator and a plus c. Then here we have some more extra functions, and these fun these um, integration are like just extra. Let me just write it clear that you don't need for add math. Extra. Don't need for add math. Don't need for add math. But this you will encounter in A level math, and A level as well. But the bottom one is just an extra thing to know because it's interesting and it's cool and they're found online. So we have this and this equals this. And let me just talk through each of them but you don't need to know. So just make sure that you don't need to know or else you'll be as confused as you might be now. But we'll just go through it now. So the first one, we'll we call it integration by parts. So when we have two functions like multiplied together, like it may be e to the power of x, e to the power of x sine x, the integral of it, we can solve it normally, so you have to use integration by parts, so let's split the different um, functions. Number two, use, use substitution, and we'll come up to that later, which is basically you substitute x, like a certain x function, by u. And this extra one is just quite straightforward, where you can just split the functions to get a certain like, uh, configuration, and then you can just simplify it straight away. And then we have some examples for number one, integrate 2e to the power 1 over 2x. So the integral of 2e to the power 1 over 2x with respect to x dx will be equal to, you have to first differentiate the bracket, sorry, the power, and then the coefficient over the power. So we have the power is 1 over 2x, differentiating it will get 1 over 2. And therefore, the, co the new coefficient will be the the old coefficient two over the the power the power the derivative of the power which is zero point five and then just as normal e to the power one over two x plus c 
and rewriting it by simplifying it, you will get 4 e to the power of 1 over 2x plus c, and that's the answer. And number 2, integrate 5 over 3x plus 2 with respect to x. So 5, 3x plus 2, dx. So we, what we can do is that we can just, let me just rewrite this. Integral sign, like this. So we can just do the top power, which is the top value, which is the k that we saw just now. So we have the k value, which is 5 from previous like, um, notation. So the top 5 over the derivative of the de de uh, denominator, which the derivative of 3x plus 2 will be 3. So it would be 5 over 3. Then ln will just be the bracket, that's with the denominator. So it would be 3x plus 2. And then you have to put a plus c. And then write it in a new color. So it would be 5 over 3. Ln with the modulus bracket or the bra normal bracket, it doesn't matter. 3x plus 2 plus c. And that's the answer. And number 3, we have integrate x to the power of 3 over root 1 minus x to the power of 4. So this first looks confusing at the list because it is not in the at math spec, so I'll just write it clear. Not in at math specification, but it's just a cool thing to know and to get ahead if you want to get ahead. Not in at math spec. So these two questions you have to use use substitution that we saw just now. So we can for this question. We can let u be 1 minus x to the power of 4, like so. So if you differentiate uh, u with respect to x, which is du over dx, you will get minus 4x cubed, like so. And if you rearrange it for later purposes, you rearrange to get dx the subject, you will get dx equals minus uh, du over 4x cubed. So, right? So, these are some things to keep in mind. So, let's just rewrite the, uh, the question. Integrate what? Sorry. Integrate x cubed over root 1 minus 4x to the power of 4. Oops. Dx. So, we can see now why, why we need dx because you have to use, you have to substitute this. Because we're now dealing with u, not x. So, you have to substitute the dx by, with respect to u, i.e. du. So here we have some substitution. The x cubed will just remain as x cubed, like so. Then the root 1 minus 4x to the power of 4 is u, so it's just a u. Times by dx is now minus du over 4x cubed. And we can cancel 4 x, uh, x cubed and x cubed. And that will get us the integral of 1. This will be u. 1 over root u times minus 1 over 4 du, like so. So what we can do now is that we can just simplify this first, so it would be the integral of 1 over minus, sorry, minus 1 over 4 root u du. So now this looks more solvable. So what we can do is that I can, let me just rub this out, the top part out, this part, like so. Oops, like so, and I can rewrite it. To, like to, uh, I can rewrite it so that I can pull the coefficient out first. So it'll be minus one over four, the integral of one over root u, which just means it's u to the power of minus one over two, du. And you can just solve it normally by doing normal integration, like the power plus one, minus one over two plus one. Minus 1 over 2 plus 1, it will be 1 over 2. And then the coefficient, which is minus 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, divide by the new power, which is minus 1 over 4, divide by 1 over 2, which gets us minus 1 over 2, u, 1 over 2, the new power, plus c. But we can't stop here yet because we have to substitute some new, the values that we substituted before. So that will get us a final answer of minus 1 over 2 root. What we substituted u as was 1 minus x to the power of 4 plus c. And that's the final answer. And it looks really complicated, and it is. 
So don't worry about it if you don't understand or like you don't fully understand. But if you do understand, then that's good because that's A level stuff. And for our last question, integrate, uh, integrate f squared over 1 plus x. And as before, we have to use u substitution. So just split it in half. So we can just let u be 1. Oops. Let u be 1 plus x. Like so. Therefore, du over dx would be 1. And therefore, du equals dx if you just substitute it. And using this logic, u squared will be equal to uh, 1 plus x squared. And if you were to rearrange it, like you expand the bracket, you get u minus 1 squared equals x squared. So now we can rearrange the whole thing. Like rewrite, sorry, rewrite the whole thing. So we have the integral of x squared over 1 plus x dx. And that means that x squared is just u minus 1 squared, as we've seen on the top, over 1 plus x. 1 plus x is just u, because, uh, because x, is basically, uh, x is basically u minus 1 from here, and u minus 1 plus 1 is just u. So ds and, and also dx is equal to du, because from here, so it will just be du. So what we can do next is that we can basically just um, expand the bracket and simplify it. So it would be u squared minus 2u plus 1 over u du. And let me just rub this out, rub the top out, this part. So we basically have to rearrange and rearrange and simplify. So it will be equal to u minus 2 plus 1 over u with respect to u. So we can now basically just integrate, you get 1 over 2u squared minus 2u plus this 1 over u is the, the integration of extra functions that we looked into just now, which was the reciprocal one, which gets us ln u plus c. And we can now therefore substitute some final values and substitute what u was just now. And just now u was 1 plus x. So we can just substitute 1 over 2, 1, over two, 1 plus x squared minus 2, 1 plus x plus ln, oops, let's zoom in, plus ln 1 plus x plus c. And that's the final answer. And this is for this rules and examples video for IGCT and Maths by today. We look into the rules and examples for the exponential and reciprocal functions as well as other methods, for example, the u substitution, which will come in A-level math. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you have any questions or um, like comments regarding my channel or my YouTube videos on my website, you can comment in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media accounts in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description, or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemiseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will be the questions for the integration of extra functions, which will include exponential and reciprocal. But until then, stay safe, and happy learning.